Hello everyone, it's Raging Janitor with another Paint.net tutorial and today I'm going to be showing you how to outline text or images in Paint.net. As always, there is a link down in the description for you to download Paint.net for free. There's actually going to be something else you need to download in order to follow this tutorial today. Um, the link will also be there and it is a uh, plugin kit from Pyrochild and I highly recommend you read the post that contains the download link because there's actually quite a few helpful tools in there. But the one we're going to be focusing on today is a tool called Outline Object. And again, you can use this on text or images, uh, but for the sake of the tutorial, we're just going to do some text to make it a little bit simpler today. So we've got our blank canvas here. And if you just have that, let's go over to Layers and click on the bottom left here, New Layer. And again, if you don't see your Colors, Layers, Tools, just make sure you go up to the top right of the screen and make sure you have those toggled on if you don't see them. Okay, so now that we have our new transparent layer, I've got the text already that I want. So I'm going to click that, and we're gonna have black as the base color. Then we'll click onto our canvas here, and we're just going to type test. And we'll just center that so it looks a little bit nicer. So let's say we wanna do a pink color for our outline. What we're going to do is go back over to our tools and select our handy dandy magic wand here and then click on the outside here and there we can see now it's selected everything outside of the text now we're going to want to make sure that our tolerance is about as high as it can go before it eats into our text or image and the reason for this is if you have a low tolerance it may not look like it but once we actually use the outline tool, there's going to be some kind of pixelated looking gaps in between our outline and our text. And we don't want that. We want the outline to be nice and tight on top of our text. So I'm going to bump up this tolerance right about into the point that we start going into our actual text here. And there we can see it's actually covered all of it. So we're going to back it up and I, it's still covering the text a little bit. So I'm just going to wind it back a little bit. And there we go. So for this particular one, it took about 72% to get it to be where I wanted. So with our plugin installed, we can now go to effects, go down to object, and we should now see outline object here if you followed the instructions for downloading the plugin. Now, if you don't see this when you installed the plugin, try to just close down PaintNet and reopen it. Sometimes that triggers it to actually show up in your list of effects. So we're gonna click outline object. And there we can see it's already starting to outline it a little bit. And we've got a couple of options we can mess with here. The width is probably going to be the one you'll mess with most. This just, as you can see, as we go up, it makes our outline bigger. As we go down, makes it smaller. So just kind of mess with this until you get it set where you want. And then the other thing you can adjust is softness. So if we increase the softness, actually let's make the width a little bit bigger. You can see as we increase the softness, it kind of makes it a little bit blurry, a little bit softer around the edges. And as we turn it down, it makes it sharper. Um, just be kind of aware here. If you go too sharp, it's going to kind of cause it to look pixelated. So we're going to just find a little bit of a happy medium here. Well, we'll set the softness at about 170 and that outline is a little bit too much for my liking. So we'll set it down to about five here. And then after that, we can click OK. Click outside of our box and there we go. We've got some nice outline text. Now, one thing um, that I've run into while using this tool, um, when we go to our effect here, we don't have, you can see here, we don't have as many options for our colors. So sometimes I'll have a color in mind and then I go to actually apply it and I'm like, wait a minute, I, I don't know how to recreate that color again. Little trick, it will pull in the last color that you selected. So let's actually get rid of our pink color there. And so if we were to go here again, it's going to by default throw that pink color. But let's say... I was messing with, you know, the RGB or the HSV color values over here, 
and I wanted this particular hue of purple. If I leave that hue of purple there and then go over to object, and actually let's pretend we're doing an outline again, then outline, and then you see this reset button here. See, it saved our pink color, but if you go to reset, it's actually going to flip over to what we have on that color wheel. So now we're getting that purple instead. So that's just a nice little trick to remember. One other thing we'll try here. We're going to add, actually, let's just get rid of this test here. And we're going to type in the word hello. The reason for this, now, the way I have it selected here, it is going to highlight everything except for this spot inside of the O, but I want that to be outlined as well. So what you can do to, to select multiple things with your magic wand is if I hold down control on my keyboard and then click inside of there, you can see it's also going to select inside of there. And you can do this with, you know, O's, P's, anything that might have a space on the inside that you also want to be outlined. So that if we just go back up to effects, object, outline object, you can see it's now going inside of the O as well. Um, and like I said, you can do this with text, you can do this with image, um, anything to make your um, graphics just pop a little bit. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel or catch us over on Twitch. My username there is RagingJanitorTV. I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.